drugs. Okay, because keep in mind, I was charged with an 848, a continuing criminal enterprise. That's a kingpin status. Exactly. Oh, I was one of the youngest ones to be charged yeah. with that. But the problem is, I only talk to the people in New York for uh, conspiracy to six ounces of heroin. Why did you shoot the first day out, man? You know how all these new young niggas got the first day out music video where they come out, they just doing shit, living life. <laughs> you say, why did I? Yeah, why you didn't? I didn't? Yeah. Because, honestly, man, when I was in prison, I used to be like, saying like, I want to get a, a camera crew to come and see yeah. when I first get out and follow me, my first 90 days home, you know, this and this and this. But when I got released, it was immediate, immediate release. I was in the shower and my oh. counselor yelled my name and I was like, what's up? He said, you trying to go? I'm like, man, whatever. All right, you're not going to leave. I, jumped, I didn't even get a chance to bathe, man. I just jumped out the shower. Damn. Let's go. Let's what, go. what was your plans that day? You like, you about to go to child. You was like, I'm about to go holler at so-and-so no, later on. Let me tell you what's crazy. Listen, doing child, right? All right, because all right, when the judge resentenced me, he said 30 days because he gave the prosecutor a chance to contact the victim's family because I got two bodies. So he gave them a chance to get their statement on how they feel about me getting out. Yeah. So I go to child that day, and I see the man that work in R&D, and I was like, He's like, Terrence, you're going to be getting out this year. I said, well, no, I'm going to be getting to me release. He said, no, the way I did my calculation, you're getting out in August. So I was like, I said, well, okay, worst case scenario, even if I get out in August, I still get halfway out. He's like, yeah. But then I'm like, no, nah, man, I want to get out now. So I go to, man, I went to like, there's no, there's no cap, man, at least 50 guys in the dorm. And I was like, oh, how much time you have? And Because I, I had a light system, so I didn't have good time. So I would write down how much time they have. I would write down. And I said, do you get out around this time? He was like, yeah. So I'm like, well, how does this man calculate my time wrong? So I did my own calculation. Um, I waited till after the holiday was over with, after the first. So the third, I go to him and I say, um, man, what's up with my thing? Can you send it to, because Grand Prairie, Texas is the one who do our calculation in the Fed. Yeah. So uh, he was telling me, yeah, I contacted him. They told me how to do your time, blah, blah, blah. So I went to pull out a paper. He was like, no, nah, man, me and your calculation is going to be different. So I was like, well, man, listen, math is the same all around the United States, man. I said, well, I said, well, can you please uh, fax my paperwork to Grand Prairie and let them decide? He was like, give it here. So I gave it to him. He came back. He was like, yeah, I sent it to him. So he gave me a copy back. I was walking with my partner, a uh, baby from Florida. I said, man, that man ain't do that, man. I said, he lying, man. So I go to the unit, and we in my cell. We just chilling. I was a little frustrated, but I was like, well, man, it's done already. So I said, I'm going to get in the shower. So I go jump in the shower, man, like 30 minutes later. From the time I went to him, talking to myself and, and got in the shower, my counselor called my name. And before I could, you know, because you get in the shower, let the hot water soothe you first. Yeah. Man, I ain't get a chance to bathe. I was like, that's <laughs> that way. I heard you mention that, um, that Trump first act is the reason why you were even eligible to be able to be out earlier. Yeah, the first step that he, he, he signed that December of uh, 2018. And what it is, is a motion that you filed is called, it's going, I'm going to post it in my documentary. It's called the First Step Act, whereas it's called Extraordinary and Extraordinary, Extraordinary uh, Compelling Reasons. Whereas a lot of us, back in the days, we had, they had the mandatory crack law. And a lot of people couldn't get out because we was under the mandatory guidelines. So in 2008, when they changed the guideline, they made it advisory. So now what Trump did was, okay, I'm going to pass this law, but it's still up to the judge to release you. So what they do is they'll say, okay, he has this amount of drugs. Okay, because keep in mind, I was charged with an 848, a continuing criminal enterprise. That's a kingpin status. Exactly. Oh, I was one of the youngest ones to be charged yeah. with that. But the problem is, I only talk to the people in New York for uh, conspiracy to six ounces of heroin. So now, how you going to give me a kingpin show and I got this six ounces of heroin? Yeah, like... But the case, the problem was, I had so many murders for the state, and there was so much stuff going on in my city, so they was like, okay, he young. We're going to put this charge on him, and maybe he's going to give up cash money or give up some stuff we think he know. Because yeah. I was young at the time, I didn't know nothing about this law. So um, over the years, as I started reading and studying law, I got ticked off. Like, Man, these people didn't trick me. Damn. You know, because you got to have five or more workers. The five or more people they have on my indictment, and I plan to post that in my documentary, exactly. you're going to see three of the people were from New York that was giving me the drugs. Uh, one of the guys, in my phone conversation, I said, hey, man, how you met these people? Where they from? Tell them to come to New York. I just shot to New York without them inviting me there. Mm. Um, so th these are the, it's like six people. Then I had one girl on my case from Tennessee, and I used to use her to jack other drug dealers. So they took all these people and used it as a five or more uh, uh, workers for me, man. But they railroaded me. But I know now, and I can help the people now, man. Yeah. Because they tricked me. And I
Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Move. Hey.